Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to MBTV. My name is Captain Lust, your regular host on the channel. Um, I'm joined this evening by, well, he's been on the channel before on a horse and sword, but I think this is his first time casting. What, Arthazan, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing very well. I'm thank you for inviting me. Glad to hear it. Oh, well, thank you for coming along because uh, we brought you on here because it's a Puchar Polski um, game. <laughs> Laughing at my pronunciation there, it's just completely fair enough. I'm sure it was an absolute butchery of the word. How do you say it properly, Arthazan? Uh, Puchar Polski. Puchar Polski. That one. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> very good. Okay, thank you very much. Um, this is the Polish Cup, right? Yes, it's a Polish Cup. We we are just starting. It's the first week of the tournament. Okay, and we have Polish Eagles, who are familiar to the international scene um, from many tournaments. Uh, I think they're quite a well-known team. Uh, against Drunken Ravens. Can you tell me a bit about Drunken Ravens and what, what's going on with them? Well, Drunken Ravens, they are just a bunch of people that may seem to be uh, quite unfamiliar for a lot of players uh, from all around the world, but uh, they have been playing in the ECS qualifiers. Uh, for example, for Frag or Fearless, I remember um, Straho, okay. Tyrex, and oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. someone uh, else playing for, for Frag. Okay, well, I think we're going to actually just get... Um... Right to snap, because I believe it's live, so we have to jump in straight into the map intro there. So we are now live, we haven't missed too much, just a little bit of tussling, a bit of back and forth between these two teams, wrestling around the low road it seems like. You were explaining a bit about Drunken Ravens and, and some of the teams they've been in. Yeah, I expect they're going to play really well today. Oh really? You have um, quite a high, high opinion of them? Yeah, um, as I told you, they were playing in um, ECS qualifiers, they, they were playing quite an important role in their, in their team, so I suppose it's going to be a good match. Do you see... Oh, I'm so sorry, I apologise. I think we have a small mistake with the timer on the streamer there. Uh, we will just fix that, just one second. Do hold on. Okay, the timer on the stream should be now fixed. Sorry about that. Uh, need to make sure we can see the schedule properly. And we're back in the game. Um, Fly's going to spawn in a second, but surely PE are the favourites here, right? Even though Drunken Rovers have been playing more and they have some experience, P surely the favourites between these two teams. I mean, they've just got a wealth of experience. Uh, Prince, uh, Gannicus, Blast, Blade, surely surely they're the favourite team. Yeah, I'm sure they are going to win, I think. Uh, really? But uh, <laughs> I suppose there there's going to be some nice uh, plays from uh, Drunken Ravens. Okay. First up comes in here from P. From P. Yes, why am I going to take down Matafix? DR going to kind of get a little bit caught here. It's weird to say DR because they have the same tag as the old Deutschritter team. Team kill from <laughs> Spark, or just Spark. Perhaps it would be Spark. Um, and the only kill there for Drunken Ravens comes in the form of a team kill from Blast taking down Warhammer. Pretty one-sided round there from P. E. to start it off. Mm -hmm. Um. I'd like to say that the DR uh, went really far forward. They were basically on the flag. Yeah. But they didn't actually take uh, any advantage from it. They needed to get up into some sort of crossfire positions and stuff, you think? Uh, yeah. They could uh, set up on the flag better this time. It's understandable. Um, well... They are, they seem to be keen to play aggressive, and that makes sense, I think, as Nords. But we do have P losing some of their gear now as well. Start moving mm -hmm. forward. Two cab on both sides, but just the one archer there for DR. Not a bad choice as Nords. Five now goes blue, that's one of the cav. Interesting to see Napoleon playing as cav there. Napoleon, the Turkish player, famous for um, Sons of the Emperor and now, Sons of the Emperor and now freelancers. Fight's broken out. Uh, DR getting one kill back, not looking too bad, actually. 
um, in this fight so far. In comes Strider, takes a big hit though. Whoa, and kills flying back and forth. Don't, that was Gannicus. P getting the better out, I think, but it's four against four. And DR looking pretty good in this round. Chris brings down Blast. And it's now DR four against three PE players remaining. Prince is forced into melee. Blade pulls a kill back, but Kotek immediately responds with the, the takedown on Blackhawk. It's Prince and Blade left. Prince on low health now. Spark's going to keep him busy. I keep calling him Park for some reason. S Park. It's the capitalization. Blade is brought down, but Prince has. Managed to bring down Spark in the meantime. And now he's Sparko. DR, it's 2 and 1, but everyone's got low health right now. This could be a clutch of Prince, no, but Kotek finishes it off. And Kotek taking a 5 1 um, kill death ratio right now. Not bad at all. Yeah, I like told you. They can do very well. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think a good call. Why aren't we seeing DR move into the international community then, you don't think? Um. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, why are they just commit committing in Polish Cups? They could uh, join the ECL, perhaps? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't really... Uh, I'm not really a friend uh, with any of these people from the uh, from DR, so I don't really know much about Is that because uh, you don't like them, them, or do you just don't know them? I don't know them. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. So, I'm sure they're a lovely bunch. Maybe. <laughs> they even got uh, women in their team. That's great. Blue. Oh, blue, okay. Playing calf. Oh, oh Dangus Napoleon, yeah, a bit of a reckless charge. Blast, Gannicus, and Warhammer moving forward. Getting actually the majority of hits here. They seem to have barely taken any hit. But now Spark responds. That's a double kill there from Spark. Eventually goes down, though, taken down by Panoramics. But a team kill from Prince is going to give DR a chance. Blast, Panoramic shutting things out, but another team kill there is from Panoramics this time. Blast with a triple kill, but DR not out of this round yet. Straho's going to harass Blade. Oh, and a beautiful kill there from Blade to bring down Straho. Damn goes blue, and it's just Blackhawk. Oh, it's just Matafix left. Do we know Matafix from another team? I feel like we must do. I remember him, but I'm not actually... I, I don't actually know from where from. He was playing somewhere. So, so DR, they played in the qualifiers for the ECS, right? Is that what you said? Uh, they were playing in different teams. Frag. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we must not we must know Matafix from one of those teams, then, I guess. Maybe. I wonder which team it was. P once again taking the round there, but a lot of team kills gave DR a good chance there. Yeah, I think Matafix was from Fearless. Yeah, so I guess that's explaining why they're not so prevalent in the international scene um, and they're just competing here because obviously they they have their own international clan commitments. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know if there's any rules about who can compete in the Polish Cup because clearly some foreign players are allowed. Is there a limit to that? Um, Ooh, we can have uh, the uh, the two foreign players uh, in the there. Okay. Yes, but only one in-game. Oh really? Okay. So quite strict limits then. That's a, that's a good thing I guess. And Blast Blade. Napoleon Prince. Oh, and that was just a brutal one-sided round. And there we have it. That's uh, the first set complete. P take the three-one lead, and a little bit of a slip there, I guess, at certain points. But overall, I guess, looking like P are taking the advantage as we expected. Mhm. Mm yeah. Very well played by P. They crushed them in the last round. Yeah. Really looked very one-sided actually at that point. Um. I wonder if that's a bit of a concern. Uh, nonetheless, I, I think I think um, DR did pretty well, and certainly the round they won, they they won fair and square. So congratulations to them for doing that at least. And that's going to leave the score at three-one for the time being. Which we will bring up the screen in just a second. Do not fear. Well, so basically, um, we have such strict limits because uh, they uh, there were some uh, manipulations in previous Polish caps. Oh, really? Too many foreign players joining. I mean, it makes sense, right? You, the, you know, they have the international tournament already. It makes sense that you want the Polish tournament to be about Polish players, right? Yeah. Uh, I think in 2011 we had a team which is which was mainly about uh, based on uh, international players. Uh, that was uh, very weird, and I think they won actually, or it oh, really? was, uh, or yeah. Well, I can certainly see how that would bother some of the Polish um, community members. <laughs> yes, uh, 
you know, um, we I think we have a limit on uh, people on the roster then, but it was like four people on the roster, so it was uh, just a half of a team, which is quite a lot. If you get like four best players of the international community, yeah, then, yeah. then they can make a huge difference. I think, yeah, I guess one in game is quite fair. Um, it's pretty strict, but I think that's I think that's totally understandable. It's good to see the Polish community as well. It's good. I think it's a good chance for like um, Polish individual players to sort of get get their name out there. We often see more like breakout performances and stuff. Like Kotek, what a revelation! Playing great. <laughs> yeah, play fun. Should be mentioned that Napoleon well. actually has great ping. Even though this is a Polish server, is it? No, it's not. I don't think. Um, Doesn't look I like think it. it's a Polish. It's a Polish server. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Surely there would be better pings for the Polish players if it was a Polish server. It should be, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to. But we I mean, get a ping from the players. Napoleon and I have pretty good pings from Turkey. Uh, I've got like 50 ping. So probably I would say a German server, but maybe it could be Polish, who knows. Napoleon playing with well, around 60 ping, which is like similar to a lot of the Polish players. I suspect it might be a German server, actually. Well, there is um, a different server for um, for the tournament, and it has PT Germany. So this one is PT Poland. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they might have just like named it that, but not really made based on location. I wonder. I mean, maybe it is Polish, but it would just be weird. They would give such a sort of average to bad connection to Polish players. I mean, not bad, but just not great. And then such a still such a good connection to Turkey. That would be odd, right? Yeah. Um. And and in fact, a lot of Polish Polish players got like great ping on Polish servers as well. So. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. I think it's a German server then, but it's weird that they named it Poland. Yeah, and it would be nice if there was a Polish server right, for the Polish tournament. It would give like Polish um, players an advantage. Yeah, which, which um, makes sense. you know, we we have our own uh, community, our own uh, our own uh, forums, and Just your own servers. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have uh, we we have a server. But um, and there was a big action of uh, the donating money for the servers, and so we didn't gather enough money. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah, so the servers were uh, on until like a few days ago, I think. Okay, I understand. What kind of servers do you have in the Polish community? Then, like Siege and stuff, or you have battle servers too? Um, I seem to remember BR had like a battle server, right, at some point. Um, well. <laughs> I don't know, um, I'm not playing on Polish servers. I know we've got um, like a normal battle, which was also used for some events. We had right. some servers on uh, modifications, like the loot as well. Oh, I think are we going live now? I think maybe we should jump back into yes. the game. Sure. Okay. In we get, the players seem to have spawned and it is now live. Polish Eagles still with their 3-1 lead. The lovely, lovely Polish Eagles banner that they have. You can see on their shields there. Uh, yes. And also on the chest of, uh, of Camilo. You, know, <laughs> you have seen the tattoo. Oh yeah, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Definitely, someone should tweet that in if you can find the picture of Camilo's uh, tattoo. <laughs> yes, Indeed. I've heard that if Polish Eagles are gonna win this tournament, he's gonna make a new one. Well, the same style somewhere else, or a different? Kind um, of I think they have um, a little, a little bit different banner now. So. All right, so he's gonna, gonna be, get the, uh... new, he's gonna the new logo. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's out of date. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Definitely do tweet that in if you can. Hashtag the warband PP15. That's obviously PP with the Polish way of saying um, Polish Cup, which is what was it again? Uh, Puchar Polski. <laughs> That's it, yeah. PP15. Is Camilo not playing then? He's, he's not as active anymore, is that right? Um, uh, well, I know, I know he used to be. Um, Active on the international scene, but right now he's only playing with E on some small tournaments like Polish Cup, nothing else. Is he playing? He's playing with Gannicus. Gannicus, yeah, okay. I thought it was Gannicus, but I always always get it mixed up. 
Why do you still call him Camillo? Just to confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think he's just fascinated by the Game of Thrones. I think it's from the Game of Thrones, isn't it? Gannicus? I don't think so. Well, I've well, no spoilers, please. I... No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, DR are gonna jump right onto the flag. Um, start raising it up there. P gonna approach from this side, which does tend to be the advantageous side. Prince gets nearly hit. Up on Tyrex. Uh, Stroud pulls on back. In the meantime, though, Stroud and Blue have been taken down. And P with the player advantage, so they're gonna start to close in right now. Prince takes a big, big archer position there. He's gonna start shooting down into the DR players, causing them a lot of problems. Matifix has gotta to respond to him, I think. Blast with a double kill and. Yeah, P just slicing and dicing right now, absolutely cutting up the Drunken Raven's opponents. Triple. Whoa! Triple quadruple kill. kill for Blast! He's flying. Nice. And that was his fifth of the round as well, so big, big round there for Blast. We always have to see a triple quadruple kill on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think everyone is looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, more kills. The high level kills, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> gonna look like. <laughs> one day it will happen. I don't think we'll ever get to a an eight an eight kill streak. I don't want to spoil what the name is, but I'm sure you can perhaps guess. Um, but yeah, I wonder, I wonder if that will ever happen. I think five, possibly six, one day we, we might see, but it would be a very special day. <laughs> yeah. By the way, um, you see, uh, drunken ravens going very very far every round. They're very offensive. Yeah, they seem to be playing quite great offensive. I think it worked. Better for them as Nords, but I think uh, as Vegas it's a little bit difficult. And this is a really bad spot to, to stay in, I think, for, for Drunken Ravens. Um, just because it's the spawn where it's, you're so attackable right there. Panoramics is a bit of a reckless charge in, does get taken down, but uh, in the meantime, a lot of DR players are taking hits from P Javelins there. Spark, you can see, is already on low health. Very low health, in fact. But they brought down Panoramics, and that's a pretty big thing anyway. Just a one cap uh, now for. Mm -hmm. For DR. Did they lose a horseman there? Uh, yes, I think so. Or was it? No, I think it was just Panoramics. Panoramics' horse was just killed. Oh, okay, okay. As you see, both uh, cavalry from DR uh, being. Ooh. Whoa, Napoleon's been caught out as well. Oh, oh, nice. Blue and Stroud are going to take him down. Blue gets the final kill. No calf from D now. Blue seems to, seem to be stuck there. <laughs> walks, walks out <laughs> backwards. Moon walks out of there with the horse. And, um, yeah, kind of reckless, I guess, there from PE. Right? I mean, it's two big mistakes. They've kind of thrown their cab away. But nice work from DL to pick up on it and take them down. Oh, and the, cal uh, and the flag in the middle when calf is going to be really useful. Yeah, that's very true, actually, yeah, because now Straho and Blue are going to be able to. Basically, roam my challenge. A bad idea to push there, I think, though, from DR. They've got to back off from that. Ooh, and PR are going to come in with a counter push. DR, DR have got to change their minds here, I think. It's not going to work walking into these PR, these PE archers. Mm -hmm. Surely there's a better approach. Where are they? Oh, why? Go up the ladder, go around the other side. What are they doing? No, DR. So reckless. Oh, but PE seems yeah, to have abandoned their archer spots. Prince comes back now, and oh, now the Prince is going to be shooting in. Immediately brings down Spark. Kramer has gone down as well. And, oh, Prince. Oh, it does get caught. I don't know. Blue going to keep him busy for a little bit. Stroud off the horse. Oh, and a triple kill from Prince. They just walked right into his... Oh, of course, triple kill from Prince. Can he get the... Can he get the... Can he get the five? Can he get it? No, maybe. No, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very near. Another quadruple kill. Two quadruple kills in a row. And oh, it was so, so bad from DR to walk into that. Crossfire, right? I mean, that was their big mistake. Yeah, and they were banished. I mean, there's so many other avenues of assault they could have used. I mean, surely that they should have gone a, a different route, right? Yeah, like a ninja ladder, or basically through the, their spawn, that would be better. Yeah, anything would have been better than what they did. <laughs> yes. Okay, I've got information. Gannicus is from uh, Spartacus. I'm not really into television series, so <laughs> I got confused. You more of a book reader? Uh, yeah, well, I prefer books. <laughs> good. Books are good for you. Keep you smart. 
Yeah, exactly. The wee book of Calvin. The what? Wee book of Calvin. I don't know what that is. I, I recommend okay, <laughs> to read okay, it. <laughs> a, sh a, bu a book shout out. I think that's the first on the string. Um, <laughs> DR getting pushed back right now. Ooh, taking a bit of a hit there from Napoleon, but not too bad actually. A um, couple of jabs coming in, but actually DR got out fairly, fairly okay. Strauss lost a bit of health. And uh, P, this could be a bit of a mistake if they push this. They have been allowed into the alley um, a little bit too much here by DR, I feel. And they're taking a lot of jab hits now. And P's down to drive forward. Blade brings down Stro. Team kill from Matafix. And oh, P just starting to drive forward right now. It's becoming a bit of a bloodbath. Oh, DR has such a good chance in the last round. Such a good chance. And they just made the wrong decision, I think, there. And uh, getting cut to piece once again. I mean, these rounds that DR are losing at uh, finishing so quickly, right? Uh, yes. If they lose, they usually lose very badly, but uh, some rounds are very, very uh, equal. Yeah, I mean, DR are, I think. D yeah, DR are certainly holding their own it's in some senses. I just think, tactically, they've made a few mistakes. Um, and The Javelins have been really brutal from P as well, just the bombardment mm -hmm. that's been coming in. This other round. DR are going to push the graveyard here, and I think they're going to get caught out a little bit en route. Yeah, Tyrex and Kotek already taken, or oh, Tyrex forced away. Kotek takes a hit, Blue goes down. Down goes Kramer, and oh, oh, poor DR. They flee into the graveyard, but P were able to respond to that and just catch them en route. It is a map like that, you can't move around freely all the time. Nice headshot there from Matafix, but it's not going to make the difference at this point, I don't think. They're three players against the seven remaining of PE. Strive still fighting, though. Could DR make something happen here? Probably not. Panoramics with a double kill there. It's just Strive left. Ooh, slumps down. He's there. Off of the horse. That's the double kill from Panoramics. It's mm -hmm. going to be the end of the first uh, map. We're going to bring up a little break screen there and be back in just a sec. But you see, he is also doing some mistakes. Such as? Um, uh, close to the ninja ladder. I think they went a little bit too far and they could be punished by Drunken Ravens in the previous round. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's definitely possible. But I think, I mean, player player skill, I think, just seems to be a little bit overwhelming for um for for, D, for DR right now. I think PE just seems to be the the much much stronger team. Interesting that we're going to be seeing Vendetta here. It's been a long time since a lot of people I think will have seen this map. Um, could you perhaps tell us why this map is being used in the Polish Cup? Is it a popular map in Poland? Um, it's something that's been basically removed from the international scene. <laughs> um, you know, the thing is that uh, a lot of Polish players um, just like uh, old maps, they are actually against every every new map. I remember oh, really? during the previous uh, Polish Cup when there was quite a, lo quite a lot of players uh, complaining about new maps such as Vendetta <laughs> last year. Okay. So you see, they 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 actually didn't know there's such a map, uh, such a map like Vendetta. Like Vendetta, they considered it to last, be a new map. Last and they year, were complaining. Yes. Mm, fair enough. I mean, I guess if the scene isn't too active in the international scene, it's understandable that they, you know, don't they don't want to, um, uh, you know, have to learn new maps and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They maybe not, don't play as much as the international scene, but I think uh, certainly for us who are playing. More internationally, it, it makes sense to sort of switch up the maps a bit because teams need to be pushed and need to develop. Mm -hmm. um, there's quite a lot of team teams uh, on the Polish scene that are from uh, some modes for roll band, uh, such as the Luge or uh, Napo Napo Napoleonic Wars or something like that. Like uh, so, they actually don't play war band native. Oh, okay, I mean a lot they, of them do, they, but some of them mm -hmm. don't. You're saying. Mm -hmm. They're just playing for fun in the Polish camp. Oh, I understand. You know, they are organized, they have everything, but they, they just don't know the maps. They don't know flags and stuff. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I understand. But they're doing okay anyway. DR put on a pretty good show. I don't think they should be too ashamed. It's certainly shown that some of the individuals as well have been uh, reasonably capable. Mm -hmm. That's basically what I thought. Like uh, PE is gonna 
win quite convincingly, but they are gonna uh, show some nice plays. What about the tournament as a whole? We can talk about that a little bit. I mean, do okay. you think uh, do you think PE like it's a win? Is there other teams that are in the running? Uh, I think PE is gonna be second, but uh, they're gonna have a very good match with South Boys. South Boys 2001. Oh, okay, that's Trebron's team, right? Uh, Trebron and Sebek, they're okay. uh, being the captains. Don't you think they would win? I mean, they're kind of they've got a lot of uh, players from the NC team, right? Uh, yes, yeah, basically uh, Team Poland, like Christo, Virus, Harman, Carpe Diem. Uh, pretty stacked up. So you don't think they're the favourites? Like that's interesting. Uh, no, no, I think uh, South Boys are gonna win. All oh, right, and okay, he's okay. gonna be second. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, it's probably probably likely. You think P have any chance at all? Uh, sure. You know, it's a game, live game, so anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I believe in such things. If you really want, you can do everything you want. <laughs> there you go. Inspirational words. If you believe, perhaps. Exactly. There's gonna be a good match for third place uh, as well. Because we've got uh, South Boys, Polish Eagles, that are gonna meet in the final, I guess. And uh, then. Uh, They're in different groups, right? Gonna be I think a... South Boys are in Group A, is that right? Uh, I don't know, give me a second. Yes, uh, they're in group A. Okay, we're seeing group B. Um, I don't have a great display for the groups yet, but I will, I will get one set up for tomorrow. So we can have a proper little look uh, up on the stream as well. Okay. Uh, just a, a short delay, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. Are uh, Drunken Ravens having some play problems? What's exactly going on? I don't know, I think they have some problems with players, but I don't know what's going on. Seems, like, seems like both teams have enough players on the server. <laughs> yes. Thanks to Dictator and Luther, I think. They're both refereeing here. Keeping the match running smoothly and sorting out any issues. Always helps when we're streaming to have a referee. What about the, the, the Polish Cup in general? I mean, can you tell us a bit more about its history, how long it's been going and stuff? Oh wait, actually um, not right now, we're going to run the map in okay. instead right now. So we will, we will go do that uh, when we go back into the game. Okay. in the game now. See the teams have uh, got their opposite opponents banners on there. Just because of the switch sides there. I wasn't expecting. That's okay. They can play in their opponents banners for one round. And they'll go back in the next round. <laughs> There's a new feature of the streaming mod recently that uh, banners are forced onto the shields of teams so that they're all wearing their team banners. I think it's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, it's great. Looking great on the uh, on stream. Uh, just occasionally it does, if I'm not quite quick enough or I don't realize which team team they're going to join, it can uh, <laughs> get stuck on the wrong side. But it always fixes itself after a round. We should be getting going pretty, s pretty soon here with the flag. Uh, just 30 seconds left. Yeah, we have only one calf uh, from PE side. And two calf from uh, oh, Dragon Ravens. Which, which approach do you prefer on a map like Vendetta? It's been so long since we've seen this map. It's crazy. <laughs> I'd rather go with two calf because uh, you know there are some places um, that are very Ooh, good for. Uh, well, it oh, kills yeah. FP right before the Precise. flag spawns. DI yeah, once again Precise. perhaps being a little bit too aggressive. Yes. Kramer cuts up and kills back down. DR not over yet. Matvik's in a great shooting spot as well. If he can make use of this. They are definitely in with a shot in this round. 
Not able to get the shots off, but Spock and Chris both getting kills there. DR turning it around. It seemed like all hope was lost. Jodas takes a big hit there as well. I think Polish Eagles were really split up, so they couldn't uh, really fight. Probably. And DR is the most of it. But DR have yeah. taken a big lot of hits here. They do have the player lead, but the round is not over yet. And P have two players on full health there, which could do a lot of damage. Napoleon, who's been fantastic all game, could be a threat here. Blackhawk raising that flag, but he's got very, very low health. One hit will bring him down. Kotek and Chris, both of these players have done a good job so far in this in this match. Blackhawk finished off, but Chris is brought down by Jurdas. And Jurdas in it with a very scary archer spot there up there at the top. DR brought down to down to five players. Blue goes Through down the as shield. well. Through the, the shield. shield was it as well. <laughs> yeah. She was a calf, so. Oh, oh Matafix. Great work from Matafix there. He's going to finish off Napoleon. Really caught him out and absolutely devastated in there. Blast the last main player for PE. Sure, you not with a chance. And DR take the first round, it looks like, in Vendetta. Not quite over yet. It would be very difficult for Blast to bring this back. Kote causing problems with the bamboo spear as well. Blast retreating into the side. Oh, getting kicked and beaten. Nice. Great work there from DR. Keeping him in this game. You were, just, you were explaining a little bit about the... Um, Polish Cup itself and about its history. Could you could um, you continue with this? Mm -hmm. I'm sure the viewers are very interested in uh, how it started and how long it's been going on, etc. Okay, so uh, the first uh, Polish Cup was organized by a clan called uh, Polish uh, Polish uh, Imperium Polskie. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> in Polish and uh, a Polish Empire and uh, Wing Hussars, etc. <laughs> yes, and and um, that was basically a clan for Total War games, and uh, they <laughs> came to Warband. Weird. Um, yes, and <laughs> and it was in 2010 when they organized the first Polish Cup. It was it was a lot of fun, uh, uh, and uh, I think around? it was a cup. Yes, yes, I was playing there <laughs> as well. Who are you playing for? Uh, we are playing not for the clan, but uh, we could organize some teams uh, within the clans. So okay. uh, it, it was like um, every clan uh, made two teams. And uh, Which clan were you at the in... time? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, maybe Ref? Possibly, yeah. Might have been like I don't remember. Them, though, I don't know. So I was playing with my friends and we took a third place. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, awesome. uh, it was very, uh, very well organized. I really, I really liked it. Um, then we had 2011 with uh, this unfortunate rule about uh, uh, foreign players that was basically destroying the whole camp. What lots of foreign players playing? Is that it? You end up with too many foreign mm. players? Yes, uh, too many foreign players. As we told mm. you before, and they was uh, there was one team with a lot of foreign players, like the best players on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't I invited? Know. I was the best player on the scene in, in, in 2011. One of them, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been. I could have been ruining the Polish Cup. Anyway, uh, the fight's broken out. Real talk here. PE starting to get the kills in. Dr. Just having to be forced into aggression. Here. Dr. Chris. Let's get taken down. Matafix being beaten up in a barn right now. Oh, and Straho is thrown in the barn alongside him. <laughs> These two remaining drunken Ravens players, considered too drunk for the streets of Vendetta, thrown into the barn to sober up and get beaten up by PE. And PE is now match point, right? Uh, is it is the same match format as the ECS? Yes, it is. Or the WNL match format, I suppose you would call it, maybe? Um, what exactly do you mean? Well, I guess it's what like... Format? Well, there's 16 mm. rounds. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 16 rounds. Well, maybe, well, maybe it's the ENL format, I guess, you would call it. Who knows? And they do play with the flag rule, is that right? The, um, no repeat flags? Hmm... I don't know, I've... I didn't really read too They must have, I'm, 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 I'm sure, they, sure they would. Ooh, Blast oh. gets taken down there, nice work from DR. He's clearly quite out of position, and great work from the DR Cav there to... 
to really catch them out. Yeah. Infantry cut. It's actually a really good way to play this map, to sort of patrol around, try and catch players out, because a lot of people, teams really spread out, but it's quite hard to move around the map and support. Um, so if you uh, can sort of patrol around and overwhelm mm -hmm. individual players, it's a really good way to get early round kills. Yeah, it's um, also quite easy on the map to get some uh, early calf kills. Like I, like you see now, Napoleon fighting there close to the ninja ladder with some calf, trying to kite them and get some kills. Quite it's very easy though. because the yeah, but uh, but you know the map is very very big and. Uh, yeah, it's easy to just uh, cut someone, uh, to just catch someone, and he's not gonna be supported by by his team. That's true. With the with the walls as well, it really separates like the outside and the inside of the map. Yes. So it's really hard to to especially move between those. And it means Cav can move around quite freely as well because they're sort of out of the range of archers a lot of the time. On more open maps, you can just kind of get hit by archers constantly, but Cav can just run around the outside of the city, and even if it's not the fastest route, um, they can pretty much guarantee not getting hit by archers too much. Whoa! I kill there, Matterfix. Thanks down Blackhawk and nice work from DR here, keeping themselves in the game by getting these early round kills. I have no idea where that happened. Do you, do you know where that happened? Oh uh, no. no, 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 I was watching Gaff. Where was he? I don't know, no idea. Oh, I see, uh, close to the keep on the wall, um, he was a, an archer, a crossbow on the ladder. There. Which ladder? Which ladder? Um, <laughs> between the keep and the main uh, gate. There was oh. a, there is a ladder. I don't see his corpse. At the top of the ladder or the bottom? Uh, bottom. He's uh, he, uh, on a wall. Oh, not to worry. Uh, it seems like the teams are starting to meet up with each other at this point. The fight is kicking off over by, by where the flag is. Actually, it seems like PE got them worse at this so far, taking a few hits. PE trying to make use of javelins, but not a great idea as Rodox because the, the skill is so low, they're so inaccurate. But they have managed to dismount Stryo. Blue comes into support and fend off the potential aggression of Prince there. Gaff Prince... taken down. Prince got up in a 2v1 against Spark and Stryo. Spark eventually finishing him off. Just bought Hammer and Jurdus left right now. And a very strong round here for DR. Matafix yeah, Mat on a 6-1 right now. And did the teams pick maps? Um, I think they did, right? Yeah, they did, they did. Yes, we've got the same uh, format like in ECS. That's cool. So this is DR's pick, I guess, probably, because they're the second team. I didn't really uh, watch this. Let's keep it a second, I'm going to check it. I believe this should be, yeah. It's just Jurdus left. They try and do yes. some, get some range kills. Oh, this one should dismount blue. Should be forced to rebuy that horse. Jurdus just kicking in the direction of his opponents right there. <laughs> Oof. Almost gets a sneaky shot on there on Spark. He's going to kick. I think they're having a good time. It's a bit of back and forth. Kicking banter. <laughs> yes. I do want to mention that coming up very, very soon. Um, uh, straight off the straight off the conclusion of this match, it will be uh, Apis Europa versus Alliance of Destruction. It's the first of this week's um, ECS quarterfinals. Make sure you do don't go anywhere, um, even if this game does wind to a close. But for the time being, DR are holding in there. <laughs> Hashtag hype. Hashtag <laughs> hype. Certainly. Hashtag drunken ravens. No Twitter account for them, I don't think, but they should make one. Yeah, everyone uh, is advised to make a Twitter account. You've got a Castellan We've got one. <laughs> yes, we've got one. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and uh, early on, they managed to dismount Straho there, but Prince getting caught out, it looks like. The opponent comes in, but not able to effectively support, and I think the, the one cap here for PE has been a big problem. The opponent's just not really been able to get too much done. DR moving forward, playing really aggressive, and... You can see on the minimap here, so many PE players so far away. They're starting to get into support right now. Joe's going to be shooting from behind, and PE going to be moving into the melee fight uh, with prototype, prototip, I should say, and Warhammer. In comes Napoleon as well. Blackhawk bringing down Kotek. And the round has really taken a weird turn as teams fighting right in his outside spawn. PE getting the better of the kill so far. 
But Napoleon is taking down their spark, finish off with that jab headshot. Chris got sandwiched. And P now six players against the four of, of DR. DR forcing too many. Matafix in a one on two. Lovely kill from Spark there. Blue gonna come and try and support as well. And DR still staying in this round somehow, but the problem is right now, Jurdas and Blackhawk shooting unchallenged into this melee fight. It's a ticking clock here for DR and time is running out. Please no no troll polling. And P do finally take the win. 9-3 is the score. And congratulations to the Polish Eagles. Well done, yeah. So, uh, well, there you have it. P take the win, as we expected. But I'd say a pretty, a pretty good overall performance there from DR, right? Certainly on the second yeah. map, looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, they picked the map, so uh, I think they expected themselves to be better as the infantry. Uh, instead of just like uh, uh, some open map, you know, I, PE is known for their archers, so they could be just shot down to pieces when they pick some open map, I think. Yeah, uh, open map I think might have made, made more sense, you think, or maybe not? I don't know. God knows. No, 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 uh, um, I think Vendetta is a good big for them. Again, Vendetta is pretty, pretty good for archers though, right? But, uh, you know, if you got infantry, I think you can get the archers on this map. I don't know, I'm not like the best tactician. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, no, no, well, it's, it's fair sure, I'm just, I'm just curious about, about your thinking. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up there, because we need to start getting prepared for the next stream, which is going to be, as you can see on the stream, screen there, it's uh, going to be the European Championship Series quarterfinal clash between Apis Europi and Alliance of Destruction. After that, even later on, at 20.30 PST is going to be the grand final of the Warband Turkey League. So, three different tournaments in one day. It's quite a special stream here for MBTV. Um, we're going to have a short break before we go into the next stream of about 15 minutes. And then we're going to bring it back up where Aaron Wen will be joining me. Um, do you have any final thoughts and or shout outs, Arthur Zan, before we close down the first game? Um... Well, I, I think the match uh, went as we actually expected. I'm very thankful for DR for bringing for bringing us uh, some action and actually not getting stomped. Yeah, they played really well. Agree. Really nice plays. I, I liked it, and so I'd like to give a shout out to Fred because I really miss him. He left our clan. No, oh, <laughs> that's such a shame. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think Do you know why well. he left? Oh, some uh, some internal problems I'm not allowed to speak about. <laughs> well, I hope they get sorted out soon. But um, in any case, thank you so much once again for casting with me. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay right where you are. 15 minutes time, we'll be we'll be kicking back off with Apis Pi vs. Alliance of Destruction. So don't go anywhere. Peace. Bye.